Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to talk about two string method in Java. So we'll be discussing what is two string method and then we'll see the practical example of two string method. So two string method we can make use whenever we want to represent any object in the form of a string. At that time we can make use of two string method. Two string method returns the string representation of the object. Two string method is present in object class, guys. So two object class is nothing but the super class of every class in Java. So any any class can make use of uh, two string method. And two string method is always executed by Java compiler whenever we print the object. So which means is whenever we write system dot out dot print ln and we pass some reference variable. So by default, uh, Java compiler will call the two string method. Okay. So overriding the two string method returns the desired output depends on your implementation so which means is we can provide our own implementation we can override the two string method and then we can provide our own implementation uh, inside the two string uh, method okay now we'll be moving to eclipse and we'll see the example on two string method okay so this is the class student public class student let's uh, let me take uh, two variable two instance variable will take private int a roll number and second one is private let's say string and name okay so let's create main method and we'll create the object of a student class student s is equal to new student okay so let's create the constructor of a student class and which will be the two arguments int roll number comma string name okay and now let's pass some roll number and uh, name let's say 10 comma name as amit and let's say student s1 equal to new student now we have created two objects and let's say name as akash okay right so inside the constructor we will be using this keyword guys to distinguish between the local variable and the instance variable this dot roll number equal to roll number and this dot name is equal to name okay so this keyword is basically used to distinguish between the instance variable and the local variable guys okay so let's print a reference variable s and let's say s1 okay so let's run this program run as java application and we got the output as basics.student so this is not much uh, readable output guys so what we can guess is basics is nothing but the package name right basics is a package name dot student is nothing but the class name okay at the rate and this is nothing but the hash code guys in hexadecimal format okay so so guys whenever we write system dot out dot print ln and we pass some reference variable so by default guys it will call two string method even if we are not writing two string it will by default call two string method of object class so this is the implementation by implementation of two string method in object class so we can see it is returning get class dot get name which is nothing but the uh, package name dot class name so it is fully qualified name which means uh, fully qualified name means package name dot class name at the rate and then integer dot two hex string and hash code so hash code uh, by default will be in the binary format guys and then that binary format is getting converted into hexadecimal format so that is the reason we are getting the output as uh, basics dot student means package name dot class name at the rate and then the hexadecimal uh, hash code so this is hexadecimal hash code guys okay so this is the by default implementation of two string method in object class okay so we can also override the two string method in our own class guys 
so let's write click a string to a string method and let's provide the body uh, return let's say roll number okay then name and let's separate it by colon okay so if we run this program now run as java application we can see we are getting the output as 10 which is the roll number of the student and amit is the name so this is the output for uh, s and this is for s1 right so s contains the uh, roll number and name s1 contains uh, 11 and akash right so we are getting the proper output in the very readable format guys using two string method okay so even we don't need to write two string method also because uh, it will be called by default by the java compiler right so if we run as run as java application so we are getting the same output okay so by default uh, it proves that it uh, call two string method whenever we print the reference variable okay so this line is same as this one guys s dot to string method okay so they are same right okay guys and then so this two string method we have overridden in our own class so this is how we can make use of two string method guys so we can provide some different uh, implementation also based on our requirement in two string method okay guys Okay guys, thank you for watching this video and do subscribe uh, the channel for further videos. Thank you.